So before you start solving any problems, the first thing you're going to need to remember or a little bit of review would be um, would be your radical rule. Whenever you have um, a fraction as your exponent, you're going to have, so you'll have something that looks like this. You'll have x to your m over n power, whatever that fraction is, whatever numbers those are. Um, so your m would go under the radical as the power of your x. And then your n is going to become the index number. So say your n is like a 2, that would make it the square root of x to the m power. And if it's like, if it's a 3, it'd be the cubed root of x to the m power and so on and so forth. You've got 4, 5, 6. You can put any numbers in there. But basically, um, that's one thing you need to remember is that rule about um, fractions being your exponent.